Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot card. These are your tarot cards for Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Um, I'm pulling from the Game of Thrones tarot deck every Thursday, Throne Thursdays. I pull from the Game of Thrones tarot deck, but as well as I'm going to pull from the Dragon's Oracle deck. Kind of goes hand in hand. Game of Thrones, Dragons. So I thought that would be fun. We got some great tidbits from Astrology Answers down with Silverman. We have Jupiter and Pluto side by side. They're two degrees apart for the rest of 2020. Isn't that pretty cool? Like these, you know, and Jupiter is like that planet of luck. You know, it's that big, beautiful planet that sits there and it makes things, uh, it brings out more of the, uh, the elements of something. So with Pluto, it's like this Italian artist and it's, you know, he's kind of, grumpy in some ways it's kind of like reminds me kind of like mars in some uh, astro specs but so it's like it, they're like you, you can't you don't really know what you're gonna get with pluto they're kind of saying so you know I, I, I guess we just have to you know see what pluto brings with this so jupiter and pluto will be side by side for the rest of the year we also have uh saturn and aquarius which hasn't happened in a very long time and that'll be for the rest of March, I believe. Deborah Silverman is also offering um, another free play class, uh, another free class, not paid class, but another free class. And um, it's tomorrow. So uh, look up Deborah Silverman on um, Instagram. She's an astrologer. And um, you will see the link. The seats are limited. And if you choose to take the classes to go further to become a full registered astrologist, certified astrologist, that's up to you. But the class that I'm talking about is no way money. I'm no way associated or affiliated with uh, uh, Astrology Answers or Deborah Silverman. I just really like uh, the information she offers, especially someone that deals with anxiety like myself. It helps me understand you know, it's just not myself. It's, you know, um, the planets as well. It's not just my emotional, my um, anxieties here. It's also the planets playing in. So from the Dragon's Oracle deck, we have the Air Dragon, our first card. Help you rise above earthly matters. And it, I think that's exactly what we need right now. It's, we need something to help us rise above what's going on here. You know, uh, we got to think, know that this is not just about us here, you know. Um, Deborah Silver was saying, be more understanding, be more compassionate. You know, how can we do service to others? So, you know, uh, I had someone reach out to me that wanted me to watch their child. I said, obviously, you know, I need to ensure that you have been screened for COVID-19 and the fact that you have not been around anyone and such and such because I have children. Ace of Cups. We get a lot of aces, a lot of yeses. Ace of Cups celebration coming up. I like that. Positive cards. Why not? You know, we need some positivity in our life. So, you know, they said they'll pay me extra. And I was like, no, I'm like, I'm not going to take advantage of this situation. I said, you need someone to watch your child. You're stuck for child care. You know, I'll gladly take care of them. So it's just like, how can we be in service of others? Like, I, you know, a lot of you know that I'm doing emotional, um, overwhelmed people free readings right now. But now that Passover is here, that, that has come to a halt. So our last one we have is the Golden Solar Dragon. I believe we got this before. Helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom. And that's what we have right now is this guy is Mars, right? And they're telling us to help us get through our situation is to give it to our masculine, our masculine self. Give it to that, you know, standing strong, being a leader, um, taking care of your family um, kind of energy there. So this is something new I'm trying. I have um, this little Buddha guy. And usually you burn incense in there. I usually burn sage or my uh, Palo, Palo, Palo Santos. I rest it there. So I thought it would be cool because I've seen uh, a lot of other people, they rest against crystals and stuff. So it's like good to show which card I'm actually talking about. It, instead of just pointing my finger, uh, I switch out the cards. So we have the Ten of Spears. So this is, you're carrying a lot of burdens, which a lot of us are. It's like, how are we going to pay our bills? Like, you know, how are we going to pay the, well, the mortgage? Thankfully, you know, where we are, you don't have to pay it for the next six months. But, you know, how are we going to pay our rent? How are we going to pay the mortgage on our business? How are we going to, you know, um, get the food and medicine we need? Because not everybody can sit there 
and overspend on food and medicine and everything else because they're there maybe they only have one paycheck a month so it's just like you know like that, that's why i'm saying be more more compassionate more understanding right now so tennis spears feeling overwhelmed work burdens guilt married him the 10 is a card of burdens you're carrying so much responsibility that you have lost sight of your purpose been caught up in others demands or put yourself under pressure to perform prioritize tasks now and ask for support and you can succeed this card also shows carrying guilt from the past if this is your first card in a spread you may be too distracted to receive a reading just now <laughs> and it is exactly our first card <laughs> and this is like because you know I'm, you guys know i film um the night before but I just didn't want to sit there and not film for Thursday. And, um, you know, especially the messages I get with uh, YouTube telling me how much they appreciate everything I do. I, I like That makes my heart sing, honestly. So then we have from the Dragon's Oracle deck is the Air Dragon. You can see the sun reflecting. I usually film at night. So the Air Dragon... Helps you rise above your earthly matters. Communicate honestly. Brings inspiration and hope. See life from a higher perspective. So kind of like that kind of where we see our, our, our bodies, but we're going to that higher, you know, frequency where we can, you know, float into like daydreaming. Air Dragon suggests that you take things lightly. So choosing this card indicates you should relax and look at part of your life from a higher perspective. Air dragons also inspire you to communicate honestly but lov but lovingly in a way that calms and soothes everyone around you and promotes good outcomes. Honest communication will bring pure white light into your aura, and when this happens, everybody will trust and respect you. Blue air dragons are supporting you as you raise above your challenges. They will help you to stay to say the most uh, tactful and inspirational words and assess assist you to stand in your power in your power and your integrity. Breathe blue and white light into your heart center as an air dragon appears in front of you. Breathe in the light over it. This is all about like visualization, especially when you're meditating. Visualization. Breathe in the light over it, and this way you can energize and uh, and uh, motivating it so that it can <laughs> maneuver it. No, motivating it that it will also um, be connected to you. Excuse me. It is a time to decide on your next step. So be clear about what you really want. Your air dragon will accompany you as you fly towards your chosen destiny. Because sometimes, like, when you get into this business, you're just like, you know, should I, you know, is this something that I really want to be doing the rest of my life? I find a, I have a lot of passion for this. I really do. Like, I've told a lot of people, last time I was this passionate about something was when I was a surrogate. Just to help healing people. That's why I love doing the um, free readings, too, because it shows my skills for those people that are kind of on the fence. It shows, like, what, what my abilities are, what I offer. It's only a taste, obviously, because you get channel messages. But it's just, like, you know, it, it showcases what I have to offer. In a sense. So it's just, like, you know. And also give it back to my continued supporters. I do appreciate them that show up every single time I do a live. So we're going to go to the Ace of Cups now. Ace of Cups is a big old Yes. If you ask the tarot question, celebrations. I love this. It's like it, it's like two cups together. So this could be a wedding. This kind of reminds me of Vikings, the way that the celebration all ribbons are there. Beginnings, love, creativity, flow, healing. The ace reveals love and self-expression, falling in love, pregnancy. I keep getting pregnancy, mother and motherhood are common meanings. Or finding the inspiration to begin a new creative venture. Whatever you hope for begins. And if you're in the flow, there are also opportunities for spiritual growth and healing. Love is given, shared, and returned in full. So maybe then you're taking a chance on love. We've got that card earlier um, in the week saying, take a chance. Last night, the card was just like, you know, um, chemistry and, oh gosh, what was it? Chemistry and passion. 
And then I watched um, Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> Talk about passion. But it's like, um, you know, taking that chance on love. Like it's, like I said, for some of you, this could be you haven't dated in a while. And you're finally, you know, you're like, you know what, I'm going to give it a chance. You never know until you give it a chance. You have no idea how you're going to feel, how you're going to respond. Take it one step at a time, one moment at a time. That's all you can do. If you feel like you're ready, then take that chance. You never know what will come to you. So the last card we have from the, the Dragon's um, Oracle deck is the Golden Solar Dragon. Helps you stand in your masculine power and wisdom with wisdom. Uh, let your DNA be re reprogrammed and light codes activated, becoming an inspired leader. The Golden Solar Dragon, who has come to you now, is asking you to balance your life, listen to your inner wisdom, and become a leader. Dare to speak your spiritual truth. Hold the vision of the fifth dimensional world. Actually, funny enough, so Deborah Silverman was telling us to look into this, so this is something I have to do. Um... While I'm off, I don't know if that would be received as work though. So I gotta look into that. But um, look into the fifth dimensional, she was saying. Um, project those who are less capable than you are with the support and guidance from this dragon. You can be living, uh, be living um, example to many people. When you aspire to be wise, a wise spiritual leader, remember the true masculine power used with wisdom helps you and those around you to feel safe. Spend a little time each day focusing on or imagining the sun shining onto your third eye and sense the light code that the golden solar dragons are di directing toward you. I love that because that is one of my favorite things. When um, the snow would melt so much in our uh, backyard before we moved out to New Brunswick, we would sit there and we would put the chairs out and I would just put my face to the sun because I missed it so much. It was just like, you know, in that winter, it's just like you can't be in the sun like that. And it's like you're usually, you're like rushing to the store and it's early in the morning. So you're lucky if the sun was, <laughs> you're just like rushing into the house. It's so cold, bitterly cold. So it's just like, you know, it's hard in the winter time. So I would just bask in that when it was just melted enough that I could take the chairs out. And, you know, me and the kids would just sit there and they would play in the, the snow that was left in the top of the backyard because we had two levels we had a top and a bottom and um we would just sit there and sit in the sun it was just absolutely gorgeous so we have you know positive confirmation you know for the ace of cups union a marriage so maybe a, I, like i know when t williams said that you know there's a lot of divorces going on because people have never spent this much time with their partner they're just like realizing like ugh. My gosh, you know what I mean? But it's just like you can't really, unless it's real bad, I wouldn't even go, I wouldn't go on with that because it's like you get on anyone's case in, that, in these kind of situations. Oh, I love this guardian. So we have a frog and we have a, a black cat here with the pentacle around its neck. I love this because there was a cat. We named her Doom. There was a kitten. I couldn't bring her inside because Jenner was, uh, is allergic to tabbies. And um, we took care of her all winter. We made sure that she survived. We made her um, a bed, um, and we we um, we protected her from the elements because we would put the recycling bin and the garbage bin around so the her bed wouldn't move. And we lined it with everything for her to keep warm, and uh, we fed her real well. And she was there till spring. And I just like you know. We could have left her for dead, and we didn't, you know. As, as much as we would love to take her inside, you know, we couldn't. But she survived the whole winter because we were compassionate towards her. So we got three cards here. Consolement, I believe. I, I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Cloak. Kind of giving into that, like, third eye kind of power, I guess. Remember, it's, yeah, a lot of us are dealing with that right now. Someone that I'm very close to, I consider a brother, lost a loved one recently, two weeks ago. So, you know, remembrance. Ancestors, kind of giving into that ancestry energy, right? We got this ability from someone, which is cottage secu security. And there's another black cat. So it's just like, you know, we have that secu this, you know, which is cottage, your sanctuary. So maybe a new home coming in for some. Or just reminding you that you you know this you are secure because you are at home. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed these yellow tarot cards for Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Be safe out there, guys. Take it easy with yourselves, and I'll see you um, when I'm back for uh, readings. I'll try and do a live this weekend, so I'll be back uh, Saturday at sunset, so 8.30, so I'll probably do a live on Sunday. So enjoy yourselves. Have a blessed one. Um, happy Easter to all that are celebrating, and we'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card.